It's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom, and I'm here today planning in my classic happy planner for the week of August 5th through the 11th. Um, I'm really excited because this is my birthday week. My birthday is the 5th, um, and this video is a like a sort of a collab um, slash challenge, I guess. Um, so. It has a hashtag. Thanks to my friend Bethany from Plan with Bethy Dean. She came up with a hashtag. I put it up in my Insta stories and everybody really liked it. So we are going with hashtag Brit's birthday collab. Um, so if you want to join in on this, then feel free. You can use whatever stickers you want. Just the only part that's the collab is to incorporate rose gold foil. So you can go deep colors, bright colors, light colors, black and white, um, just as long as you're using rose gold foil with it. Um, and when you do that and you post pictures of your spread on Instagram, use the hashtag Brit's birthday collab so I can make sure I see it. Um, and I have a couple of questions um, that some that were posted in the last video that I will also be answering. So for today, what we're going to be doing I decided that I'm going to be using the farmhouse sticker book because there's one sticker actually that I've been saving. I used it, peeled it up with my undo to put it back in here because I wanted to use it specifically for my birthday spread and that's this Life is Lovely. So we're just going to go with this sticker book as a whole and the washi that I had pulled out, I don't think we're actually going to use the dark blues. I don't think that would look very good with the farmhouse, but these shooting stars and then all of this is going to go very well together. Um, it's all from Simply Gilded. So I'm trying to decide if I want to put washi down at the bottom or not and just generally how I'm going to go about this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the at least the headers done. I use the five millimeters for that. I won't be using the yellow though. I don't think the yellow will go. Um, but yeah, I'll probably end up going with these and I'll be back in a minute. All right, so we've got the washi laid down. I didn't do the bottom. Um, if I do, I'm going to end up going with this one. It is so pretty. So it's got blue and then it ombres down into like a greenish. Um, I just, I haven't decided if I want to do that or not just because I have a quote down here and I typically don't like to cover up the quotes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these two things, wreaths, I guess, um, and I'm going to use them immediately. So the first question, here we go. The first question that I'm going to answer, we only have a couple is how did I come up with my name? So the Coffee Planner Mom name. Let's see, I think we'll just stick this here in the middle. I'm kind of tempted to slice it a little bit so that it's not really coming in, but I don't think I'm gonna worry about that right now. So we'll put that one there. Um, so, it took me a really long time. I didn't really know what to go with. Um, I, yeah, I, I didn't want to use something that specifically had my name in it, but I wanted something that was going to be, do I want this down here? Yeah, I think I'll put this down here. Um, but yeah, I didn't want it specifically to have my name but I wanted it to at least have something to do with me. Yeah, we'll leave that like that. So I absolutely love coffee and it was a planner account because it started as, well, I mean, it wasn't just Instagram. I did Instagram and YouTube at the same time. Um, so yeah, Instagram and YouTube, and it was specifically a planner account. And then I wanted something else because like coffee and planners 
I guess I could have just done coffee and planners. But I ended up going with Coffee Planner Mom and I just really ended up liking that. Okay, so the only checklists in here are these. The other ones are boxes and I don't necessarily want to use a box. But I do need to get some checklists down. So this is going to be to mark off the three different things that we have going on. <laughs> On my birthday, I don't know, maybe I will still put my birthday up here and then do something really not me and put a checklist down here. I don't know. I have to put my video here as well. So who knows? Anyway, um, yeah, so I was just trying to think and the other question is about me drinking coffee. So the whole reason why I picked like why I wanted to pick coffee is because I love coffee. Coffee is life. I, I've i cut down at least. I used to drink like three to four cups a day and now I just kind of drink two in the morning. But it, the funny thing is like I will drink it no matter what I'm looking for checklist. I'll drink it no matter what. It could be freezing out. It could be 95 degrees doesn't matter I will drink coffee it's funny because yeah these are the other checklists and I just don't think well maybe I will um yeah I can I will drink coffee no matter what do I really want to use this I the last time I did the farmhouse sticker book I used those boxes I think I'll try to find a checklist somewhere else okay we have some checklists in the colorful boxes that we could use but then again I could just use incorporate the black as well. I have not incorporated any of the black stickers in this. And I think maybe I just will. Just for something different. We'll see. If I don't like it, guess what? I can use undo and peel it up. So anyway, I was going to tell you a story. Last summer, we got some new neighbors. And they have kids that are pretty like really comparable in ages to my kids. Two of them are the same ages as my kids. And then their youngest just happens to be a year younger than one of mine. So let's see, I think I will stick this on Thursday. No, I'll put it on Friday. I think I'll try to be a little bit productive on Friday. Um, but yeah, so they were new, they had just moved here and their kids came over to play with my kids because they realized that we're neighbors and they were the same ages. And it was like night, it was the summer. It was like 90 degrees and I was drinking a coffee <laughs> and she was quite surprised. So that was really funny. But yeah, I definitely will drink it no matter what. I prefer hot coffee over cold. Um, sometimes I will have cold, but usually it is hot coffee. All right, so let me talk about what I've done. These are to mark off things that we have going on. So this is going to be for my daughter's lessons. So they both have lessons on Thursday nights. Um, one is in golf, one is in guitar. This is going to be, I kind of feel bad that I don't actually have a thing for my birthday. I almost feel like I should have a thing for my birthday. So this is what we'll do. We're, I reorganized my desk. Yeah. We're going to move move Monday completely around. So this is undo. I can't, there we go. I really struggle with my lid, but that's okay. All right, we are going to put this down at the bottom. Let me get the little scooper. And I actually think that'll be better off. Okay, so we move that around. So undo, I get it from Michael's, use a coupon. Uh, this bottle is almost two years old. It's, it, I've had it a really long time. Um, you drizzle it on your stickers. I sometimes put it in here to help get underneath the sticker. It allows you to put your sticker up. It stays sticky and you can reposition it somewhere else on your page. It's pretty awesome stuff. Not gonna lie. All right. So I moved this down here. So my daughter has a, do a dentist appointment. It's actually in the afternoon, but it's okay. I'll stick it down here. And then I will put the party here. Our kids have, well, the elementary school has a party for the kids, which I think is really awesome. Let's 
see. Which celebrate do we want? I don't think there's any other celebrates in here. Yeah. So we're going to use one of these. Because, like, I have to. Just trying to decide. I think I like this font better. So, yeah. We are already starting back to school festivities. This week is only the one. It's the back to school party for the elementary kids. And then, oh, I forgot I have another sticker I could put down. I almost forgot I bought these birthday girls from Fox and Pip. So we are going to use, yeah, they are two different sizes. We're going to use the bigger one. Um, I don't know why, but I always pull my stickers up from the bottom. And we will put her right here. Oh, I love it. And then I'll figure out how I'm going to mark off my videos in a little bit. But we've got my birthday sticker, which makes me very excited. All right, so let's see. Wednesday, we've got, because on Tuesday, all I need to mark down is quotes. Everything's happening on my birthday. Oh, yeah, the party. So, yeah, that's all we have for school events this week. Next week, yeah, it is next week. I have, I think, four different things that I need to worry about for school next week. And then school itself starts the week after, which is really sad. But, oh, well. All right, so I know I've got other stuff to mark off over here, but I kind of want to get more of the stickers down. I want to get, oh, this page came out. It's all right. I want to get this down somewhere because this is kind of the whole reason I'm doing this spread. Um... All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the Life is Lovely over here. It's not on my birthday because it's just way too busy. Oh, that would have looked really cute. But that's actually functional, so I can't use it. But we're going to stick this right here so that it's in the middle of the page. I probably could have put it over on Wednesday. Yeah. It's all right, it's here, it'll look fine. I'm gonna take a box sticker and I am gonna use it over on the other page, but I do want to use something else. Ooh, maybe I'll use this every day as a gift because it does have just, just black. So maybe that's what I'll do. All right, so we have this sticker here. This one's crooked, but I don't think it's gonna bother me. We have a box sticker up here. I think I like it, I don't know. I think I might end up moving it down here to be honest, but we'll see. Um, and then I put this here, hey Pepper, um, so that I have a quote here because I already have a quote here. So now I'm not doing bottom washi, which is fine with me, but I am liking how this is looking. I do need to figure out my video situation though. All right, I'm coming over here into my little Annabelle's Plans um, foil sticker book. I do have a coupon code for her shop. It's Brittany25 and that gets you 25% off your entire order. So I'm gonna use these gold foil coffee mugs to mark off my videos. Um, oh, I forgot I had those. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I saw those. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> um, let me get these down. I think I only have four going up this week because I do have a haul, which I may end up breaking into the stickers in that haul because I have no chill and I'm really excited. So we will see. So we're going to put, this is for my mini video. We're going to put this on this side for my recipe video. So I want to just keep everything, I think I might keep it all in 
the morning down at the bottom, except for Saturday. So yeah, we'll put this over here for the haul that I am planning. I almost think maybe I should put it here, but I don't know. We will see. And then Saturday, we will stick it over here. So I'm actually filming this late. I usually like to film Saturday mornings, but since it's like basically my birthday weekend, we went out this morning, we went to the butcher shop and they have a restaurant, so we ended up eating there. It was so yummy. Um, and then we, and then I was waiting for the mail because my husband has been keeping me posted on my birthday gifts. So the other day I actually went through and I cleaned my entire office. I did an Instagram story and it was pretty intense. Like it was a lot, like a lot of stories. Um, and one of the gifts, the reason why I'm filming so late is because the mail came really late this evening, but he got me a new lighting system. So I'm all excited. So from the viewfinder, everything looks much brighter, which I'm so thrilled about. We're going to use these books stickers. So we used so far um, the coffee mugs in rose gold foil. She has other colors too. She has rose gold, regular gold, silver, and copper. So yeah, we are using rose gold books. There we go to mark off our library trip. Um, the librarian who does story time made sure to let me know that they are switching to the 1030 class instead of the 1.30 this week, so I don't show up at the wrong time. Um, yeah, those are the copper. Yeah, that's right, so I have, I have the copper, and then the rose gold. So, I'm trying to keep them, keep them correct. Um, I put down a Towel Tuesday foil script. I'm gonna leave this out so I can use it and and the books yeah so that's what i've done so far and you guys honestly besides having to mark off trash okay my kids are making some really wild sounding noises i don't even know if you can hear it or not i have my door open just because my husband's out right now um yeah i had to go check on them to make sure that like they were okay and they are they are all three of them playing minecraft so yeah, um, I kind of want to put another box down here. This is so funny. I put that in line and I never put my stickers in line. So that's all right. I kind of wish that I had like a black box with gold foil. I don't know if, I don't even know if Happy Planner even makes something like that. Yeah, so there's just these three pages of box stickers. I've really picked over this. And so far the only blue I've used is the washi. Hmm. All right, well I couldn't find I couldn't find anything, not anything, but any black and rose gold foil, which doesn't really surprise me. Um it's not necessarily something that Mambi has a ton of. They definitely have more rose gold than other foil colors. Let's see. Let's let's have some fun, shall we? pretty extra but I think I think I'm just gonna leave it I think well, maybe I should have moved this one up a little bit we'll just do that um I kind of like this circle banner it's something I used to do because like there were always a ton of circle stickers 
So I just kind of always used to cluster them all together for lack of anything else to do with them. And I don't really have a whole lot going on for this half of the week, so I figured why not do that again? But this still didn't do anything for the fact that I wanted a box here. Maybe... Okay, I think I like that better now. <laughs> it's not as like sticker puke as normal. And then I'll just have to put... Alright, that little star is for my trash day. And I kind of think this is all I'm going to do. I feel like there's a, a lot, well there's definitely a lot over here. Not a whole lot going on over here, which is usually what's been going on. Oh, I need my meal plan sticker. Also in the rose gold foil from Lil Annabelle's plans. So we will stick that right here under the top priorities sidebar. Not straight, but that's okay. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take these corners and it looks like they're all the same. Oh no, they're not. Okay, each row is the same because these are the same those are the same okay yeah we'll go with these and what I'm gonna do I think this will look cute I'm gonna frame the whole page using these all right I think the only other thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this live in love sticker I'm pretty sure I've used it before and peeled it up yeah, considering I just had a little bit of a hard time getting it off, I'm going to say that I have attempted to use it before. So, just trying to decide if I want it here. I think I want it here. I don't think I want it up here. I think that would look odd if I had it floating up. I don't know if you guys watch According to Allie, but she has, when she plans, she has this concept, this theory where, like, the bottom boxes are always the ground and anything above it is floating. And it's kind of where I'm at right now with this sticker. Not that I want to put it down here, but like to have it up at the top of this box, I feel like it would look odd because it would be floating. So, I mean, if I put it in the center, I just went for it. All right, let's let's do a foil wiggle. Oh my god! Look at that down at the bottom and everything. Oh, this is so pretty. I love the foil and the corners. Look at that. So cute. I love it. There is so much foil in this. This is this is what I needed. I love it. So yeah, if you are doing the rose gold challenge, please make sure that you use hashtag a Brit's birthday collab so that I can check and see 
what everybody's doing for my birthday. I think it would be really cool to see other people doing rose gold spreads. And like I said, there's so many ways that you can use rose gold. You can use completely different color schemes and everything. So yeah, I am just thoroughly pleased. Like I can't even tell you guys. Oh my God, it's my birthday week. Okay, enough of all that. I am done with this spread. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos that I have coming up this week. I think it's only going to be four. I don't think that I'm going to find a random fifth video to film this week. <laughs> Um, and be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I am at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you guys later.